Hi guys, today's video is going to be ever so slightly different and I'm going to um, kind of flat lay everything. I've got an unboxing of the new Precious Petal Beauty Box by Jane, British beauty blogger, um, and it contains um, various different brands in this one, but it's actually all under the umbrella of Lostan, or however it is that you pronounce that, I, that's the way I'm going for it. Um, and it's supposed to be kind of a spring theme and we're gonna get into it and I'll unbox it and show you what is inside And I wanted to film this for you today because it's actually just gone live and usually when Jane does these boxes they um, Don't last very long. They kind of Just fly off the shelves. So I wanted to get this filmed for you as soon as possible So inside first of all you've got these two postcards and oh sorry is it one postcard? I thought there were two. I feel like maybe there were two and the children stole one of them because I saw them getting into this box yesterday, but at least one. And this is actually already um, postmarked to Latest in Beauty who put these boxes together. And the idea is that you can actually send in feedback and you can just pop that in the post and they will pass it on to the brand. I think that's a really, really cute little um, addition there. And the other card is uh, basically 10 pounds off in a similar way that she did with the Clinique box when you put in a specific code. Um, so. Back into the actual box and what you receive. The thing that I'm super excited about that I've never received in any beauty box before um, and that I've heard a lot about is this and it is, is it called Amand? It's a shower oil, um, cleansing and softening with almond oil. And I've heard there was a YouTuber, I think it was Makeup by Tiffany D, and she used to say that she used to buy this in massive bottles and she used to shave her legs with it. I could totally get into that. It's got this little tiny thing at the top. I can't open it, there we go. Um, opening that's a little bit different. It just looks a bit cool as well, doesn't it? Um, I'm not a big fan of almond, but this isn't a very, very sweet, strong almond scent. This is not what I would say is kind of marzipan-y. Um, it's very subtle, and I really, really like the idea of this, so I'm going to try that for that purpose. Because um, I always use conditioner to shave my legs, but I'm going to try something different. Um, next, there is a, what is this? Camellia Essence. Let's read a little bit about what this actually says. Oh, it's a serum. Okay. I can't even, it's called Dong Beck, I'm saying. And the 15 year old boy in me is like, oh my God. Contains 73% camellia oil, exceptionally rich unsaturated fatty acids associated to four other oils. Precious Oils Cocktail offers a nourishing bath to your skin to help protect the skin barrier. Contribute, blah, 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 premature age. It's a serum, it's a serum. It comes in a little vial. Okay, I will probably use that. Um, next is a CC cream. I will definitely use this because I've been looking for something um, and I, I feel like from a skincare company it might actually be a CC cream rather than uh, more like a foundation product. And it says high definition radiance face cream, broad spectrum. This brand is um, hmm, Aborian. It's a Korean skin therapy. Oh hang on, you know, I thought that every brand was tied to L'Occitane, but perhaps it's not. I think it is, but I don't know. This is its Korean skin therapy. Ooh, it's got those weird things. Let me see if I can get this closer to the camera and if it will focus at all. Um, enough for you to see. Hmm. Okay, this is as close as I can get for it to focus. So I don't know if you're picking up on that, um, but it's a white lotion with those tiny little kind of dark beads that tend to, we'll just try it on the back of my hand, but they tend to kind of crush and get darker the more that you rub them in. Um, here we go. So it kind of looks, in theory, like it's adapting to your skin tone. That used to be the, the claim. But the more you rub it, the darker it gets. So in actual fact, not adapting to your skin tone at all. It's just kind of heat or, you know, motion, I don't know, activated. Um, and I have a couple of these. There's one from Estee Lauder, like a, it's supposed to be like a day wear thing. There are various different ones from various different places and they almost all get super orange on me. But this one doesn't seem to be getting too dark. I don't know, we'd have to try it. Um, but I'm not typically a fan of those products just because, I mean, you can see the kind of orange streak on my hand there. Because they just, it's really difficult to spread something across your face evenly and not get kind of orange streaks with something like that. But it's interesting, I'll give it a go. Um, next is the Melvita Eau de Floral, or Eau Floral de Rose. Ancien? Oh my goodness, this is just the worst for me. Damask Rose Floral Water. I'm tr really trying with the accents and all that. Can you hear the birds? It's really early on a Sunday morning, I'm filming this and... It's, I feel like I'm in like Sleeping Beauty or something. There's just, birds are gonna fly in and help me to get dressed. Um, Damask Rose Floral Water, let me just spritz this. 
it's very rosy. Now, I'm not actually a big fan of rose scented things. Um, it's a very authentic rose scent. It's not particularly synthetic, but uh, that's not really for me. Um, next, I've actually had this before. Um, the Melvita oil, what's it called? Law Bio, I think. Extraordinary oil is probably easier to say. Um, this is really, really nice and you can use it all over. I've used it in my hair, on my face, um, and it's kind of a dry oil. It's not too heavy. So especially in the summertime, this was really, really nice. I've used that before and I liked it. Um, this I've had before and I never actually used it. I don't know what happened to it. Um, it's the Creme Divine. Divine Cream. Let me just open it up. I love the packaging. I even have the miniature stuff from Lost Time. It's so cute. And it looks like that. Let's see how thick this is. I seem to remember putting this in my samples box and just never reaching for it. It is actually quite... Oh, I was going to say it's quite thick. Wow, it's fragrant. I'm not entirely sure what that is, but it is super fragrant. If you didn't like the scent, I don't think that's something that you could live with. Um, but it's quite nice. It's, um... I wish I knew. But it is very strong, the scent. It's a nice scent. Uh, and lastly, of course, no Lost Town box could be complete without one of their infamous hand creams. I have thousands of these um, from various beauty boxes, from magazine subscriptions. I must have more than 10. But it is a really, really good hand cream. And I'll tell you what, if you are in an office environment, there are people that will snatch these out of your hands. I will take them to work whenever I feel like I've got a ridiculous surplus of them. And people go crazy for them. So the couple of standouts for me would probably be, I know that I like this oil. I'm quite excited to try the CC cream, but I wish it wasn't that weird um, thing where it, it um, tints as you rub it in. And this, I'm really excited to try the shower oil. If you've tried this, let me know, uh, because I know that some people completely love it. And yeah, I'm, I'm into trying that. So that's everything that's in this box. I will leave the information below. I'll leave Jane's blog link because she will have gone through the reasons that she's chosen everything and a bit more information about the box and where you can purchase it online if you can still purchase it online by the time you see this video because, um, as I say, the curated collections from Jane always totally fly off the shelves. And she has a really exciting one coming up that she's given me a little bit of information about. I can't tell you yet, but I will show you that as and when. So, um, yeah. A little impromptu video. I'll be back in the next couple of days for a regular video. And um, good luck if you're trying to get hold of this box. I will leave everything you need to do that below.